Hi folks, Dr. Tallarico. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the importance of when you have a diabetic assessment or you have some conditions or some symptoms that make you think you might have diabetes, why it's important to ask for your insulin level to be checked. So if we look here, um, this is your blood sugar and here's your range, you know, so on the low end, you know, maybe 80 and high end 120, okay? And so let's just hit, call this a fasting sugar. So if your fasting sugar is remaining here for years, um, and there's no major changes, um, it may not be that important. But if you notice that um, your sugars are starting to pick up or you're starting to develop some of the symptoms that you're, you're concerned about, I would request in addition to um, you know, blood sugar, I would ask for an insulin test. Now the reason I would ask for that is insulin levels may be going up dramatically and still keeping you in this normal range but this is a problem. This is a disease state because you're developing what's called insulin resistance. So insulin levels are way up here and sugar is still here. That's going to look like if you just get blood sugar, that's going to look like you're okay. But in fact, you're not. You're developing insulin resistance and then eventually this, this, is, this is developing type 2 diabetes. So it's really, really important to know what the insulin levels are. Now, I've asked some of my patients when they go to their family doctors or so, say, ask them to run insulin. And in one case, I had a patient, I said, I want you to get your blood sugar done, but I also want to get your insulin level done. And so she did it, and um, the PCP got the blood work back, and she was very concerned. She's like, your insulin level's really high. How did you know to ask that? And I said, and she said, well, my, my doctor said, my, other, my chiropractor said, he wants to look at that number. And so I just think that should be routine. So in the event that <clears throat> we're getting checked out, let's run this test. Now, if you want to run this test on your own, if your family doctor or whoever's maintaining you for your health doesn't want to run it, do it yourself. I actually have a portal now for my patients where they can go in, log in, and order the test for themselves. And it's inexpensive. It's not a very expensive test. You can go somewhere to a lab and have it drawn, and you send it in, and then you know. Okay. And then keep records of all of your blood tests. Keep everything in one place so you can look at the trend over time. Because if this is trending like this over time, this is an issue. So if we know our blood sugar is going up, good chance is our insulin levels are way up already. And you've already developed this insulin resistance and you're, you have a problem. And so we don't want to get to the point where our blood sugars are well outside of the normal range and then they say, hey, you're sick, you have diabetes. So um, let's get it, let's be more proactive, let's order the right tests. Another thing that's really good to know um, is called your CRP. And so this is a good test for everybody, but I really recommend it for people who have diabetes or heart disease. And what this does is this tells you how much inflammation your body is making. So I, I think they call it high sensitivity CRP. But that'd be another good one to get. Okay, in addition to the standard test, you know, blood sugar, and you'll get some of these in a metabolic profile, triglycerides, and then A1C. We want to look at these, but we also want to look at this and that. Okay, thank you, and uh, if you have questions or anything, put them in after the video.